Ciao, my name is Thomas. Do you know that for a proper function of cells it is necessary that the cell organelles must communicate and almost touch each other? Well, that's true. And in my short video talk I will tell you something about the contact size between two important cell organelles, the mitochondria and endoplasmic reticulum. Here, in a lab of Marta Giacomello, we study the structure and function of the contact sites between the mitochondria and the endoplasmic reticulum. The contact sites are actually the points in which the organelles run in parallel to each other, like this. Uh, they regulate many important cell processes, for example calcium or lipid metabolism. The contact sites are also very dynamic structures, so the gap between the organelles ranges usually between 10 and let's say 80 nanometers. Now as you can see we know a lot about the contact sites but there's still much to be discovered for example the precise molecular structure of the contact sites or their regulating mechanisms and that's exactly what my project is all about. So in my project I'm trying to investigate the regulation of the contact sites by small molecules Using a special microscopy technique called high content screening, I'm trying to identify small molecules which regulate the contact sites and then also to identify the proteins located within the contact sites and playing some crucial role there. Using a normal microscope, you can analyze only one sample at once, whereas using a special microscope called Operetta, you can analyze almost 400 samples at once, which is perfect and it saves you a time. So, now let's go downstairs and let's have a look on the special microscope called Operetta. So we went downstairs to see the special microscope, uh, the Operetta, here it is. And over there, yeah, in the huge box, there is the automated robotic system. These two machines can cooperate and work together so the robotic system prepares the experiment while the operator microscope uh, then analyzes the experiment so let's have a look inside so here we have the 384 well plate which is usually being used for uh, the analysis and how my experiment is going to look like so first uh, we will seed cells into this 384 well plate and introduce DNA coding for special fluorescent probe into the seeded cells. Uh, then the robot will add uh, samples of uh, tested small compounds, always uh, each compound per well, that means that we can analyze up to 400 compounds and uh, on the final day of the experiment uh, the operator microscope will analyze uh, all the wells of the plate so that means that we will get uh, many uh, images that need to be analyzed in order to get the right molecule and this can be done again in uh, automated way using a special software so first I will teach this program uh, how to analyze the data on using one image and then the program analyzes all the other images hundreds, thousands uh, overnight or over few days. So that's all from the operator room and now let's go back uh, upstairs to finish our story. So we are back in a lab upstairs, hopefully having found a small molecule that regulates the contact sites between mitochondria and the endoplasmic reticulum. Uh, this project will bring new pieces of information into understanding of communication between different organelles 
uh, in a cell. I hope that uh, you enjoyed our story. This is the end of my talk and uh, I hope that now you better understand why the communication is really crucial uh, not only for the organelles in a cell. Ciao!